Welcome back everybody, Broadbent here. Today I'm going to show you a very different video, far from my usual, and I'm going to show you how to manually update Mod API. So a new update just came out, 0.50, and as soon as I open Mod API, it shows me this error. Could not detect game version. Now, even if you click restore game files, nothing will work. So, how do you fix this? Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is click exit. Go on to the logs folder and then click on the most recent log file, which will be the highest number. Now you want to keep that open, just minimize it. And then you want to go back to the mod API directory, click on configs, games, the forest, and then versions. You want to open that with your notepad editor. Now you want to scroll to the very bottom and you want to copy where it says versions and then slash versions. So just like that. You want to click Control C, hit enter, and then paste it again at the bottom, so now you've got two. So then what you want to do is rename this to the version update. So for me it's going to be 0.50, it could be in the future 0.82, it could be 56B. So I'm just going to stick with 0.50. Now what we want to do is go back to the first thing that we opened. So you just want to look for that really long string of numbers and letters. Then you want to copy that. Then go back to the versions.xml file, highlight this at the very bottom here, and then paste this in. So now you've got a completely different checksum with a completely different ID. You want to go ahead and click save, exit this. You can exit the first notepad that we opened as well. Now on the versions file, you want to right click and click properties, and then go ahead and check read only, hit apply, and then OK. Now this may not be essential for you, but I've had it in the past where it's completely erased my text that I've added. So just in case, I would add that. Then go back to the root directory again, open mod API, hit run, and there you go. It should launch with absolutely no problems. You can go ahead and check all of your mods and then start the game with no issues whatsoever. And there you go. As soon as you load up the save in the forest, you can hit V or whatever mod you've installed and you can see that it is working perfectly. So just to demonstrate, no issue at, at all, and we are in 0.50. Now I've made this video because I know it can take the mod API developer a while to do that himself. The uh, mod API is only supported up to 0.47 so far, so it can take him months. So I just thought I'd show the people how to do it themselves. So thank you very much for watching everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video.